Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome President and CEO Bio Crossroads, Patty Martin. Good morning and welcome everyone to the 2021 Indiana Life Sciences Summit. I'm Patty Martin, President and CEO of Bio Crossroads. We are so happy that all of you are joining us today. Unfortunately, our hope last year of meeting in person this year has once again been upended by the continuation of the COVID-19 pandemic. A year ago, a COVID vaccine was greatly anticipated. And while the approval of the vaccine and other therapies has certainly helped combat the virus, we are needing more people to be vaccinated and also fight against the additional mutations. COVID-19 continues to be an, an, a significant issue for our hospitals, industry, and communities. We certainly didn't think we'd still be in this situation at this time last year. And I know no one feels this more than our healthcare providers. We are so grateful for their continued dedication to patients. And we'd like to especially recognize our board members, Dr. Romuletti from Community Health Network, Dr. Mike Miro from Parkview Health, and Ron Stiver of IU Health for their commitment and leadership navigating this challenging time. Indiana's healthcare and life sciences community has continued to have an impact on not only the health of Hoosiers, but also for people all around the world through our innovations and medical breakthroughs. Moving on to today's program, I'd like to introduce the chair of Bio Crossroads and Cook's Vice President of Industry and Government Affairs, Dan Peterson. Thank you, Patty. It's, uh, it's a great pleasure to be with you all here today, and I am so uh, glad to welcome you all to the 2021 Life Sciences Summit. Um, I can tell you we have a fascinating day planned for uh, looking over the past 18 months at how how we've all had to adapt and, and learn in this process. And um, whether you think about it from an individual perspective, a company perspective, or in this case, a industry sector perspective, we've all, we had no blueprint to follow. And this 18 months that seems often like a, about 10 years in many respects, uh, has challenged all of us uh, on many fronts. It has challenged us to uh, adapt to the challenges of the, of the virus, and it's, it's actually provided an opportunity for us to, I think, understand each other in what we do better and in, in some respects uh, help us be better collaborators and innovators in that perspective. And so I think that's what we're gonna touch upon today. I know that's what we're gonna touch upon today and I really look forward to it. Uh, Cook is no different than any of our other organizations and partners in that we've had to adapt and learn uh, and grow and, uh, and innovate, if you will, whether that be through people and process. We, have, we went from um, having basically 40% of our global sales volume drop off the table in, over, in a 10 day period. We've had to adapt to how to come back, how to maintain our manufacturing of, of critically uh, important life-saving medical devices, many of which are used in, in treating COVID patients. How do you work through that and keep people safe, keep product flowing to patients, keep our employees and our communities safe. So we've all, in our own way, both as a company or as individuals, had to adapt. And, and again, it's been challenging, but I'd like to reinforce that it's provided, I think, new ways of understanding each other and collaborating uh, going forward and, and innovating. So it's my great pleasure to be here. Thanks for joining, and I'll turn it back over to Patty. Thanks, Dan. We are so happy to have you with us today. Before we dive into today's program, we'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsors for their support, especially Eli Lilly and Company, Roche Diagnostics, Cook Medical, Vagary Drinker, Alanco, and WCG Trifecta. While you are all enjoying the conference, please check out the virtual exhibit hall on the streaming website to learn more about some of our sponsors. <laughs> 